Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Look, we had a really busy January. We had 14 games and uh, 32 nights. And um, we played some of our strongest hockey towards the end of the month. So um, hopefully that's a sign that the team's peaking. And um, we definitely need that type of effort night in, night out. I think that we get it most nights. Um, bounces went our way in those games. And um, I think people recognized um, that there was uh, you know, an awful lot of uh, effort and hard work put on the ice. And the people in this building appreciate that. We are playing a lot of good hockey. Um, you know, our offense is um, starting to pick up with the addition of Nico into our lineup. Uh, it's just given us a new dynamic up there, and the bout lines look a, a lot more balanced. And um, it's nice to see some smiling faces out there because you know, the puck's going in the net for them. The last couple of weeks has, has certainly been uh, enjoyable for all. We have a number of wins up in the board and uh, a number of big wins not only in conference, but uh, against the Southern Conference teams as well, which is heartening because last couple uh, months of the season here, we, uh, we have a, I was going to say difficult schedule. It's been a difficult season, but uh, we, have a, we have a challenging schedule for the rest of the season and, and we want to finish as high as possible. Look, I'll, I'll address it how we'll address the guys basically. And, and what we'll be saying to these guys is it, you definitely do not look past um, the Edinburgh Capitals. Um, their backs are up against a the wall. They've been dealing with a bunch of adversity. Sometimes that's what makes a team come together. Um, maybe an example of that is their performance down in Cardiff on the weekend. Um, they go into arguably the toughest building to play in this league. I think they've only lost once there, something all season. And uh, Edinburgh managed to hold them to uh, you know, a 2 1 hockey game, albeit they were heavily outshot. Um, that's the type of thing that can happen, especially if you take your foot off the off the off the gas, you know. But uh, for us, um, uh, it's just going to be a case of um, keeping things the same, um, same work ethic, tight in our defensive zone, um, not getting out of what's been making us successful. Um, and um, y you know, we got uh, two big conference games this weekend. I mean, no one wants to see a team who was riding such a high crest at the start of the season, doing so well. And it's good for Scottish hockey that uh, Edinburgh Capitals were competing and, and riding high in the league. Um, had a few key players leave, unfortunately. And maybe worse is that they've had a few players injured. Nobody likes to see any of their um, uh, colleagues or, or counterparts injured in this game, albeit it's a rough and tough game. Um, but they're, uh, they're short-staffed right now. Um, but, you know, like I'd said to you before, they're going to come out and, um, you know, they're not going to go undefeated the rest of the season. They're going to beat someone. We don't want it to be us. We've, we've fared incredibly well against uh, a team vying for the league championship this year on home ice. I mean, we're 4-0 in league against them. Um, so we match up well against this team. On Friday, we went to that building and uh, got a late penalty with five minutes left. And... They got a power play goal. I think that was unfair that we came out of that game uh, without any points because how we played in that game was really how we played uh, on the Saturday and Sunday of that weekend. Um, but another difficult building to go into, but we got to go in there. If we want to stay on top of the conference um, as it is right now, must win. I was talking with Stewie the other day. We're, you'll always look back and rue a couple games that you feel that you let slip um, I'm sure there's coaches in other offices saying about results against us that they feel they've let slip. So, I mean, it's all relative, you know. Um, right now we're at the top of the conference. I know that two teams below us have a lot of games in hand. Uh, we have five games left. Um, it's a goal of theirs in that room and, and, and all of ours is to go 5-0. and um, I think that's an attainable goal. Uh, it won't be easy, but I think it's an attainable goal. That keeps us at, up at the top, and then we we let um, the rest handle itself. Um, so that's all we can do conference-wise. Um, but you know what? It's tight, and it'll be it'll be tight down toward to the end. You know, um, so hard to say where where that's going to fall. Um, League-wise, um, we've just been steadily um, kind of ticking over, and um, and and to be fair to to the guys in the room, it, it's been really good performances. Um, I think at times um, we've really struggled with our offense and one or two weak goals now is, is all that's the difference in a game. And um, 
we struggled with that time, but you know, we addition of a player or two, we come in, it invigorates the team, and all of a sudden, you start seeing us score four or five goals a game. We'll still be susceptible to a weak goal. I mean, what team isn't? I mean, that, hockey is a game of mistakes, right? So, but all of a sudden, it doesn't seem so monumental. If we make a mistake on the ice, it does, it's not costing the guys the game all the time. You know what I mean? So we continue to work week in, week out on eliminating those um, and play as perfect game as we possibly can. And slowly, like I said, start creeping up this league. Um, you know, we've been, we've been kind of chasing this Dundee team down. Um, we're three points behind them now with a game in hand. And, you know, even a team above that's not that far away, you know. So it's nice to be actually looking up the table and feel confident in the group that we got that, hey, we can actually catch these guys and we can finish uh, in a very respectable position this year, which was, was the goal all along, right?